guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been off to an amazing start and I hope you all are in good health. So in this video, we're going to be decorating the living room and the dining room for fall. We're going to be just adding in all of our fall decor, making the space all nice and cozy and just getting it ready for fall itself or getting ready to decorate for fall itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it brings you lots of home decor inspiration. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Trina. I love to share home decor inspiration on the channel. I do a lot of decorate with me's. I do a lot of um, cleaning videos and things like that. So if you enjoy um, home decor as much as I do, I would love to have you stay and subscribe and become part of our decorating family here. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video. So let's get started y'all. Okay, you guys, so we are here in my entryway. So we're gonna start decorating for fall and this is on this side of the house. So I have these two shelves here right by my front door. And then I also have my credenza here in my entryway. So I'm gonna start decorating it for fall. So I have these cute little rustic looking pumpkins that I got from Kirkland's. I love how realistic these look. They originally were $24.99, but I got them for 25% off. So I'm just gonna add one to each shelf. So now I'm going to move over to my entryway. I'm just going to go ahead and add some decor to it. So I'm going to change it up a little bit, especially it's going to be a little bit different from how I shared in my beginning of the fall video, my transitioning to fall video. So I have these like kind of like bamboo or rattan boxes that I got from Home Goods. I love the, I did, this year I wanted to use a lot of natural um, wooden elements or try to incorporate some natural elements to my decor. So I love the dainty brass detail that they have on these boxes. They're absolutely cute. So I just have the small one and the larger one. So for my full arrangement, I'm going to be using this gorgeous vase that I share with you all in a haul from West Elm. I absolutely love the shape of it. I almost have like a tulip shape and it has a lot of texture. So I'm just going to add it next to those boxes. Then this fall, I wanted to incorporate some natural elements. I love how the trees look when there are barely any leaves on it, especially when the leaves start to fall. So I love how realistic these branches are. They are in a dark chocolate kind of floral it has at the top, and then the stems are really nice and realistic looking. I did pick these up from Home Goods. They came in a set of three stems for $16.99. And then you can see here that I'm only adding two stems, so you don't need a lot to fill up this vase. Next, I'm gonna add in this matching small vase to the larger one. I just absolutely love it. So I'm trying to decorate in sets of three. So I'm gonna add this one here. And then also I'm gonna add in this dried floral or this floral pick that I got from Michaels. It has like this kind of mustardy yellow color that I thought would look good in my entry, entryway. So I'm just gonna fold the stem a little bit just so it can fit inside the vase. I'm gonna add in a scented candle because I love decorating with candles for the fall. I love to create a nice, cozy, warm, inviting, warm, inviting space. So I'm gonna add in this gorgeous candle that was sent to me from my YouTube sister, Angelic Designs by Chanel. This is called Cozy Fire. I just love the detail of this candle. It is absolutely gorgeous and look really high end. So I'm gonna light that right here on my entryway. And that is it for this side of the house. I absolutely love how this has turned out. Today. 
Now moving on to my sofa, changing out your throw pillows is a really inexpensive way to add a touch of fall to your home. These are all actual pillow covers that I'm gonna be adding to my sofa. You guys always ask me about these pillows here. These are actually pillow covers. They're in the size 24 by 24 and I have a 26 by 26 pillow inserted into them. I did pick those up from a little Etsy shop called Daru Home. Next, I'm gonna add in these faux leather cushion covers. I absolutely love these. These are look so high end and they are super heavy and they are made of a really good quality. I think I end up getting like two of these cushions for like $21. So it's definitely a really good find on Amazon. So I'll have them linked down below if you guys are interested. Next, I'm gonna add in this beautiful bling pillow that I had got from Home Goods. I had this for a while now, so I absolutely love it. It just adds another element of texture. Next, I'm gonna add in these beautiful pumpkin pillows that I got last year from Home Goods. I absolutely love this kind of brown rust color that it has on the front and the back. And then it has that beautiful bling pumpkin that it has on the front of it. So I thought it'd be really nice and festive to add to my space. Now for my coffee table, I'm gonna keep things real simple. I'm gonna add in this beautiful mixed bowl that I created in my transition to fall video. It, the bowl came from Home Goods and I just have it filled with some pine cones and faux acorns that I got from Hobby Lobby and then also some green moss balls and then a few faux pumpkins as well. I love decorating with pumpkins for the fall. As you can see, I just think that you cannot do fall without adding some pumpkins through your home. So I absolutely love how this bowl arrangement has turned out. So I'm gonna add it to the bottom of my coffee table. Next, I'm gonna add in these hurricanes. I love using these all year round, but they fit perfectly for fall because they have that nice smoky chocolate look that I'm going for. And then I'm just gonna add in some pillar candles. I'm gonna add in a coffee table book to add to layer in some additional decor. And then next, I'm just gonna add in my Michael Aram candle snuffer. I absolutely love the detail on it. It looks like a wooden branch with some beautiful butterflies on it. So I'm just gonna add this to my um, coffee table book. I just, I just think that decorating with candles really sets the mood for a nice cozy environment for fall. So I love to have my house lit up with beautiful candles as well as uh, faux and scented candles just to create a really nice ambiance. So next I'm gonna add in a throw blanket was decorating for fall without a nice cozy throw and home goods have some beautiful affordable throw blankets that you can actually um, get so i found this beautiful one from home goods but i believe amazon actually sells this same particular one as well so and they come in a variety of different colors i think i have one in gray and then i also have one in a really nice creamy color so you cannot get you cannot never have too many throw blankets so i love adding them to my home in various parts just so we have that extra blanket when we need it I'm gonna add in some fall decor above my fireplace or on my fireplace. So I added this artwork here. This is actually a DIY I did. I just took a, an existing art piece that I had and just filled in with some brown color just to make it more fall ready. Then next I'm gonna add in this beautiful pumpkin I hauled from Home Goods. On the top of my fireplace, I'm gonna add in these vases. These are actually, um, you can actually find these at Z Gallery, but if you can find these at Home Goods, it's definitely a whole lot afford, uh, more affordable than purchasing them from Z Gallery. So I'm gonna add these beauties to the right side of my fireplace. Now 
I'm also going to add in this book, this coffee table book. It's called Atmosphere. I'm just really using this to elevate my large pumpkin that I'm going to put up here just to kind of layer in another um, element of design. When you're creating your vignettes and you're decorating, you always want to add in different layers, different textures. So by doing that, it allows you to create a more curated look. So I'm also going to add in another one of those beautiful cream colored pumpkins. I love that floral garland or that leaf garden that wraps around it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Next to my left side, I'm going to add in this floral arrangement that I created. I just added some various florals and stems or picks that I got from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. The ginger jar came from Home Goods. I love this brass detail on it. I thought it would be really nice for fall. And you see me add the lid to the back of that ginger jar because I'm just going to use that to kind of prop up this beautiful rattan pumpkin that I purchased from Michaels. And actually, Home Goods and Target also have similar pumpkins as well, even Pottery Barn. So this is definitely a trending pumpkin design for this fall. Next, I'm going to add in this small pumpkin that I got from Target. This is by the Threshold brand. I absolutely love how realistic this one looks. I'm just going to add that one next to the rattan pumpkin. So now we're going to move on to my dining room. I'm actually going to build a fall tablescape with you guys. Usually I like to separate this video, but I thought it would be fun just to have you guys watch me put together my fall tablescape and I just include it all in one video. So what you see me doing here, I'm just taking my microfiber cloth and I'm just wiping down my table. I did use my Mrs. Meyers multi-purpose scent, a multi-purpose spray and the scent fall. It smells absolutely amazing. So we're gonna start off by building our centerpiece. So you always want to have a beautiful centerpiece for your tablescapes. It just sets the mood for your beautiful um, table. So I got this eucalyptus. This is actually from the Magnolia Home brand. It absolutely looks so realistic and it's real full. And I believe it was like $22 at um, Target. So what I'm doing here is I'm fluffing the branches. You always want to start off by fluffing those faux stems because it just comes in the package very smushed and flat. So you definitely want to start fluffing those out first. Now to add in another layer of texture, I'm going to add in this beautiful this beautiful garland that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love the branches on here and those little soft dainty little pearl bees that I have on there. It just reminds me of tree branches outside. So I thought it would be nice to add it to my eucalyptus garland. So what you see me doing here is I'm going to place it on top of the eucalyptus and I'm going to intertwine the branches together. So you see me just taking my hands and just moving the branches together so they kind of seem as though they are one. So to continue with our centerpiece design, I'm going to add in two pumpkins. I have a larger pumpkin, then I also have a smaller one. I did pick these up from Kirkland's and then I, they just give me like a rustic vibe. So I'm going to add each one to each end of my garland.
Next, I always like to add in some candlesticks to my center tablescape because I just think that having dinner by candlelight just really has a nice, calming, cozy, romantic vibe. So I'm gonna add in these brass candlesticks that I got from that I got from Kirkland's. Next, I'm gonna add in these pillars or these tapered candles that I got from Hunga's last year. I absolutely love the detail on them. They actually had these in the fall section last year. And then to build upon that, I'm gonna add in some additional lighting. So these are some battery operated faux candles that I got from Amazon. I love how nice and elegant these look. I think it just really adds a nice touch to the tablescape. So to continue on building our fall tablescape, we're gonna go ahead and create our place settings. So I'm gonna start off with these gold mesh place mats that I got from Target a few years ago. And I'm just gonna use that as our base for our place setting. Now, since my table sits, sits six people, I'm gonna be setting up my table setting, my tablescape for six people. Next, I'm gonna add in my chargers. So I found these gorgeous chargers from Hobby Lobby this year. They are in a faux leather and it has that really nice chocolate brown color um, as you can see here. So I'm just gonna add that to my placemats. As you can see this fall, I'm going for a very neutral color scheme. I'm doing the browns and creams and more of the earthy warm tones this, this holiday season or this fall season. So next I'm going to add in my plate. I think adding a white plate to your table setting just really adds a nice elegant touch and then you can never go wrong with decorating with a white plate. It just keeps things classic and simple. So I picked these up from Home Goods, but they are by Mikasa so you probably can find these online as well. Next, I'm gonna add in the matching saucer and bowls. So next we're gonna add in our silverware. So I really wanted some really modern, sleek silverware that I can use for everyday wear. So I found these at, or on Amazon, and these are absolutely gorgeous. They have the gold, they're stainless steel, but they're in that gold plated um, look, just to add a nice warmth to the tablescape. So I'm just gonna add in my matching silverware. I'll have these linked, everything that I can have and find a link for, I'll have them linked down in the description box below. But you always put your forks, your large fork and baby fork to the left and then you put your knife and your spoon to the right.
next I'm going to add in my drinkware and I'm just going to add in some champagne flutes or some red wine glasses. These are some glasses that I just had lying around in my cabinets. So I did purchase these from Home Goods a while ago. Next, I'm going to add in some napkins and my napkin rings. I love these napkin rings. I picked these up from Home Goods about maybe two years ago. They're absolutely gorgeous. They just have like a gold leaf. And then these napkins I picked up from Target. And they're just some plain white linen or faux linen napkins. And I'm just going to add my napkin ring to the side of the bowl. And then this is how our tablescape turned out. I absolutely love how it turned out. So next I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this credenza behind my table. I'm gonna start off with this acrylic tray that I have been using for a while. I got this from CB2. And then next I'm gonna layer in some coffee table books. This is in some, this is just a Louis Vuitton book. I just took the cover off because I love that chocolatey brown look of the actual book cover. And this is gonna add in another faux or another book on top of that. Next I'm gonna add in these beautiful kind of ivory colored pumpkins that I got from Target. I'm gonna add in some additional pumpkins as well. So this little smaller brown one came from Target and then this little rattan one I got from Michaels. Then next I'm gonna add in this floral arrangement here. This is this uh, vase I got from Kirkland's. I love the shape of it. it, almost reminds me of the shape of a pumpkin, but I love that it has kind of like that deco mesh look to it. And then I just add some fall stems that I got from Hobby Lobby. So this is how everything has turned out, you guys. I'm gonna go around and kind of give you a close up of the room, just the way you can, that way you can see how everything is decorated with a closer view. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed this Decorate With Me. If you did, please give my video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.